वेलकम डियर लर्नर्स टू द न्यू सेशन ऑफ वेब टेक्नोलॉजी आई एम अनुराग भट्ट असिस्टेंट डायरेक्टर कंप्यूटर आईटी उत्तराखंड ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी हल्द्वानी इन दिस सेशन वी विल डिस्कस स्टाइल क्लासेस एंड एट्रीब्यूट सेलेक्टर्स द लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर सेशन इज दैट वी विल कवर सी एस एस फॉर्मेटिंग एंड वाइट स्पीसीज नेक्स्ट वी विल कवर स्टाइल क्लासेस एंड वी विल कवर various attribute selectors then css attribute selector we will cover css attribute value selector then another form of css attribute value selector in a different way then attribute value selector with the uh, parallel bar parallel single bar then css attribute uh, to the power symbol and value selector css attribute dollar equals to value this kind of selector and we will cover css attribute asterisk value selector now we will discuss css formatting and white spaces the first curly brace is on the same line as the selector name but the suffix is on the different line the property is intended and there is a space after the colon separating the property and value but not before it why what is the reason because it is looking good but the css parser does not care about white spaces it is not the case that it is looking good that's why we are using it but the actual reason is that css parser does not care about the white space here we have html then head we have this title and then next time we are having the text my document then another text then text then body so in that particular uh, example we are analyzing we are facing that the first curly braces is on the same line and the as the selector name but the suffix the suffix which we are using is on the different line the property is intended and there is a space after the colon separating the property and value but not before it it is because the css parser does not care about the white spaces so go through that particular example and we can have a little clear picture some people prefer to put the opening brace on its own line and put the space before the colon then h1 color is green curly braces are closed css formatting and white spaces we are discussing it the another point is that it works as well in fact a lot of software is written to compress minimizing the css to take up as little space as possible like this so all of our, all we which we are discussing is the formatting and the white spaces so h1 then directly uh, curly braces are there colon uh, color then colon then green is the value and semicolon and then curly braces are closed so in this case we have compressed we have written a compressed format because we want the css to take up as little space as possible like which we have discussed here elaborated here this works fine too but becomes harder to read and edit as rules gets more complex we can have some hurdle or we can have some difficulty in reading and editing because in this particular case we are having uh, curly braces and curly braces close are in the same line so we can have some difficulty and it will be getting more complex however the parser understands it the same as in the first example so here we have so many white spaces that is color green before it we have white spaces and under white spaces blanks are there but it can be rewritten like this no white spaces are there so the parser 
understands it the same way as in the first example. Thanks to the special characters used as delimiters as mentioned above. Style classes. The dot class selector selects items with a particular class attribute. To select items of a particular class, write a period that is dot followed by the class name. We can also specify that only certain HTML elements are affected by the class. Here we are having style classes. So by using classes, we are no longer reliant on inline styles to format each instance of an element differently. So here we have style type that is text case, text, text CSS, uh, then we have style one, then font weight is bold, another style two which we have font style is italic, another style three we have font weight equal to bold and font style is italic. So in third style three we have bold and italic on the same time simultaneously, then style tag is closed. Then P normal text, then paragraph closed, then uh, paragraph tag is uh, again class equals to style one, then text is in bold. So paragraph two is uh, then uh, then text class equals to style two. So text will be in the uh, italics and then paragraph tag is closed again. Then paragraph tag the class equals to style number three. Text is in bold and italics uh, italic. The, uh, and paragraph is closed. So here in this example the output is that normal text text is bold text is italics and last one is text in bold and italics both. It is having bold uh, nature also and it will uh, written in the italics also. Now to do this start with the element name and write the name of the class after a period. See example in the next slide. Here we have style attribute then id then we have so many elements so most specific value and then then uh, it is followed by the least specific value. So style attribute then some uh, is pseudo class attribute and uh, element id style attribute. So uh, style attribute most specific value and least specific value is specific uh, value is elements. Here we have style classes now HTML we all know head then style p dot hometown we have curly braces background is yellow then style tag is closed head tag is closed now in body we have h1 the dot class selector which in the heading we are describing that this is the dot class selector and then h1 heading is closed then paragraph p welcome to the uh, nptel then paragraph tag is closed then p class equals to hometown and then we have paragraph tag is closed and then we are having some text called hi then exclamatory mark and then paragraph tag is closed. So here we have paragraph welcome to my city then paragraph is closed now again p, p class equals to hometown then hello exclamatory mark and then paragraph tag is closed and likewise we have body tag is closed and last but not the least we have html tag is closed. So the dot class selector this is in the bold or then welcome to the nptel then hi hi is in the yellow color background again welcome to my city is normal then hello is in the white, uh, yellow background because we have provided all the values. Now the particular example have the output on the right section so we can understand these code by use of by the use of style classes and html element can also refer to multiple classes see example in the next slide that is my first uh, component and then the server id is uh, 10 is offline no server is uh, refreshed so we can have this we can have uh, empty of uh, ample of examples in step one step two step three so we can differentiate and we can have html element uh, refers to multiple classes so this is particular uh, practical example here we have style classes then uh, we have uh, html then head then style p dot center then text align is left aligned color is red 
then p is large center and the second one is large then font size equals to 300 percent so three times it will be having the size the style head body uh, style and head tags are closed then body in the body we have h1 intel's class selector then h1 is closed then h1 class equal to center then this one welcome and h1 is closed again then p uh, then paragraph class equals to center then welcome is the message uh, with the followed by the exclamatory mark and then p uh, paragraph is closed again p equals p class equals to center and large then welcome is the message and uh, after that we have uh, paragraph p is uh, closed again then body tag is closed html tag is closed now the output is that NPTS dot class selector it will be in the output then we have welcome then we have welcome but with the red uh, color background because we have color as red sorry we, uh, the, 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 the text itself it is the red color is in the red color then we have some large uh, welcome which is written in the red color so that particular example of the style classes is there now we are having attribute selector you can format html elements with specific attributes or attribute values the attribute selector is used to each to select elements with a specific attribute for example we are having anchor tag then a then attribute is href uh, reference is there uh, we provide the link google.com and then particular link uh, is uh, followed by the, uh, the 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 anchor tag is closed by the uh, backslash a now css attribute select so we have various kind of uh, techniques for the selector the following example selects all uh, elements with a target attribute for example a and we have target attribute uh, or selects all the uh, uh, target attributes elements with the target attribute then background color green and uh, curly brace is closed now css attribute equals to value selector the attribute equals to value selector is used to select elements with a specified attribute and value css attribute uh, value selector the following example selects all elements all tag a uh, a tag elements with a target equals to blank attribute so we will be selecting all the uh, tag a elements with the blank attribute so target equals to blank then background color is green now we have uh, this attribute and this uh, this symbol equals to the value selector the attribute and this uh, different symbol or this uh, this equals to value in double quotes this selector this, part, this particular selector is used to select elements with an attribute value containing a specified word we can specify a word and we can have some elements based on that particular value css uh, this example of css the following example selects all elements with the little attributes that contains a space separated list of words one of which is flower suppose one of which is flower so title is uh, flower then border equal to six pixels solid green so uh, in this we have a separated list of words one of which is flower we can have this example now attribute equals to value selector it is used to select elements with the specified attribute whose value can be exactly the specified value or the specified value followed by an hyphen here we have class then uh, this is a uh, vertical bar symbol equals to then we are providing in double quotes top so in curly braces background is yellow so we can always have a hyphen or specified value uh, specified value followed by the hyphen the attribute uh, this type of selector is used to select elements with the specified attribute whose value started with the specific value so for which uh, the value start with a specific value uh, we are using this kind of selector so this example is that the following example selects all elements with a class attribute value that start with top 
now class then power symbol this is then top and curly braces background is yellow and this is called as the uh, attribute uh, value selector of this particular type now attribute dollar equals to value selector it is used to eat to select elements whose attribute value ends with a specify value so the following example selects all elements with the class attribute value that end with test so whenever uh, in this example we are having uh, all that we will be having all elements with the class attribute value that ends with test so class then we provide dollar sign equals to in double quote we are providing test and then uh, square bracket is closed then curly braces background is yellow and curly braces are closed next is attribute asterisk equals to value selector this selector is used to select elements whose attribute value contains a specified value the following example selects all elements with the class attribute value that contains te suppose that contains t so class aspect equals to in double quotes we provided te then curly braces background is yellow and curly braces are closed here in this session we have so many points to remember let us discuss them it is good to use html style attribute for inline styling it is good to use html style element to define internal css it is also very beneficial to use html link element to refer to the external css file and it is a good practice to use html head element to store style and link elements all these are the points which we can uh, we we should remember next is it is good to use css color property for text colors it is good to use css font family property for text fonts it is very beneficial to use css font size property for text sizes the learning outcomes of this particular session are learners can have deep understanding about css formatting and white spaces they can achieve the concepts of style classes and attribute selectors by use of so many uh, examples i hope that this session will be very beneficial for you thank you